Hi. Hello. Hola. Bonjour. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Guten Morgen. And a good old fashioned good day to you. I'm Auntie Toya from Fast Learners in the beautiful island of Trinidad in the Caribbean. And I would like to welcome you to our circle time today. Thanks for coming. Would you like to start off our day with our hello song? Let's do it. Hello to everyone. And how are you today? We've come here to circle time to learn and laugh and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're only halfway up, we're neither up nor down. So roll it all so slowly. And roll it all so fast. And give yourselves a clap, 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 and put it on your laptop top. Awesome job. Good morning. Shall we say good morning to all our friends and family who are here with us? Great, let's do that. Good morning, beautiful people. Now you try. Oh, that was lovely. So, before we start our day, we always use a mindful minute. Today, um, we are going to take some deep breaths. We're going to take four deep breaths, close our eyes. We're going to pause just so we could focus and get ready to start the day, okay? Usually we say our school prayer, but this morning, I think we're going to just do some mindful breathing, right? Would you like to try with me? All right, the first thing to do is close our eyes and we're going to take some deep breaths in through our nose and exhale or let it out through our nose again. Let's begin. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. All right, we've got some energy, we've moved around some energy and we're feeling good to start our day. How are you feeling today? Would you like to sing our feeling song? All right, let's try. We got so many feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. We got so many feelings in our heart. We've got happy feelings in our heart. We've got sad feelings in our heart. We've got angry feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. We've got silly feelings in our heart. We've got tired feelings in our heart. We've got worried feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. So today, um, I know that today we're feeling rather grateful. Today is Teacher Appreciation Day. Are you grateful and thankful for all the teachers that you have? That includes your parents, your big sisters too, and friends. We're all teachers in our own way. And how do we show that we're thankful? Let's talk about that in a little while. All right, let's start our day. Let's see what day it is. We have to go through the days. Let's go through our days of the week. Don't forget, you can cluck or snap or clap. Days of the week. 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 Of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Of the week. All right. So we know that yesterday was Monday. We still have our tag up. Okay, so let's take this down 
and we're gonna put up today is Tuesday t -t 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 Tuesday all right so we know that if yesterday yesterday was Monday right we know yesterday was Monday so we know that today is Tuesday and that tomorrow will be Wednesday so let's sing our today song today is Tuesday today is Tuesday happy all day happy all day if yesterday was Monday tomorrow will be Wednesday hip hip hooray hip hip hooray all right great so we know that we're starting off our day today Tuesday what's the weather like let's look outside I think it's a little different from this today what's the weather what's the weather what's the weather today is it sunny is it rainy is it cloudy is it windy what's the weather today let's look outside I think the weather is rather cloudy today we've got a cloudy day today which means that it's probably going to rain in a little while so our weather today is cloudy all right so now that we know that today Tuesday is a little cloudy what about our letter for today well our letter today is the letter A. It begins our alphabet. alphabet. <laughs> so here we have the letter A. That's our uppercase A and our lowercase A. And the letter A makes the sound A and A. Yes, the letter A is very important. It has two sounds. It can say A and it can say A. So here we have our letter A today. And we're focusing on our letter, day, letter A today for the word appreciation. Now that's a big word and it means something really simple. It just means how much we show someone that we care for all the things that they do for us. How do you show you appreciate your mom or dad how do you show you appreciate your teachers for all that they do? Let's talk about that in a little while. So, we're on our letter A today. Can we say hi to some of our friends with A names? We have lots of friends that start with, the, with names that start with the letter A. We have Andre. Hi, Andre. We've got Annabella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Annabella. With Arian, I Ari, and Aidan, and AJ, with Andrea and Amanda Adele. Good morning, Adele. We have Adania. I'm sure I'm seeing Adania later. Hi, Adania. And Aaliyah. We've got Alani and Aisha, Alicia, Ayana. We've got so many A friend names. So now that we've said hi to all our friends with names that start with A, how about some places? Do you know where we can go with names of, of things that start with A? Of places, sorry. Let's think about it. There's Africa. There's Antarctica when we're talking about the world. Africa and Antarctica. And how about Anguilla? in terms of in the Caribbean yes we have lots of places as well that we can go to with the letter A and you know what's coming up next what are the things what things start with the letter A well we have apple which is a big favorite and there's ant and let's see what else we can show today we have an axe we have an alligator, an anchor, 
an airplane, and an arrow. All of those things begin with the letter A. Yes. So we are going to do lots more things today with the letter A. All right, moving on. We're going to do our number of the day. Now, yesterday, our number of the day was eight. Not so today. Our number today is the lovely number nine. Nine. Let's put up our fingers. Can you get your fingers ready? Yes. Nine. It's almost ten. Almost. We have one full hand and just a couple more. Let's count our nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Lovely. And we've got nine ways of how we can do, show our appreciation to others. All right. We're going to do nine things. All right. Let's go on to our color of the day. Yesterday, our color was red, but today, can you guess? You're right. She was so super smart. What gave it away? Ah, my purple shawl. You're right. The color of today is purple. Purple. Here we go, purple. It's such a beautiful color. Here's our purple crayon. I found one more thing that's purple for you. All right, so we're gonna move on just from our appreciative color purple, right? How many other things you know that um, start with purple? I can tell you one quick thing that's a food. It's called melangen or bigan as we know it as well, or aubergine. All those three things are the same thing. It's um, a vegetable and it's purple as well. <laughs> so I hope I get to have that later today for lunch. Shape of the day. Our shape yesterday was the rectangle. But today it will be our heart. As we show appreciation for all our teachers and aunties and uncles and daddies and mummies and grandpas so we have our heart today we're going to show some love and appreciation so um now that we've reached the end of our board i would just like to share um just some ways i think that we can be appreciative to others let's think of some things that we can do today to show how much we are really thankful really happy that people are here to help us one of the first things that we're gonna do is say please and thank you it's always always good to use our manners when we are going to show people how much we appreciate them we want to help someone when they're not doing as well as we can, or if they're fallen, we always want to make sure that we help someone. That's how we can show that we appreciate them. And how about volunteering? Yes, you can also always help out at places that you can, um, that need the help. <laughs> well, it's come to the end. I know you don't want to go, but we've got to, so so long farewell i hate to say goodbye to you and you and you and you but we'll be back soon see you tomorrow